Hello, welcome to this week's harmonica lesson. So this is uh, going to show you how to play uh, a slow blues example, a 12 bar blues that's nice and slow. So this is kind of perfect for um, kind of beginners, beginners to advanced beginner players. Um, there's some, some difficult techniques in there, there's some bending, but it'll just get you into that mentality of playing a slow blues. So for this lesson you'll need a harmonica in the key of C, we're playing in second position in the key of G, and before I show you how to play it, let's listen to what it sounds like. Okay, so you probably heard that there's there's definitely a kind of recurring theme throughout this tune, uh, and, but there's not a huge amount going on. So that's kind of rule number one for your slow blues. You don't need to be doing too much stuff. You just want to be thinking about how you can vary things along the way. So the first lick sounds like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so starting just after beat four, leading into the beginning of the 12 bar blues. And we've got this one draw, two blow, little pickup phrase, and then we're gonna play a two draw. And the two draw, we're gonna play it with a little inflection. So what do I mean by that? Well, an inflection is where you hit the note with a small bend, but then you immediately release it. So you get this. So you're doing a kind of qui, qui sound. But you're only doing it once. Okay, and at the same time that you're doing that, you're going to be doing some hand wah. If you're not sure how to do hand wah, just click in the link uh, in the description below for my lesson on hand wah. I'm just going to quickly recap though. So the key to good hand wah is making sure that you've got an, a completely airtight seal and that you're not kind of wasting any air around the harmonica. And if you do, you'll start with a really muted tone. And if you open your hand just a tiny bit, you'll get that wah sound. So we're gonna do that on the two drawer as well. And then we're gonna hold that two drawer for three and a half beats, and then hit two blow, and then one draw. So let's try doing that together. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> And then lick two is going to be very similar, it's just got a slight variation, so I'll just play that for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, so exactly the same idea except that we're throwing in a little three draw half step bend uh, before the two blow. Okay, so let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then lick three where we go into the four chord. This is where things start getting really interesting. So let's listen to that all the way through. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so same little pickup phrase, one draw, two blow, just after beat four. And then as soon as we hit the four chord, we're gonna be playing notes that last for an entire beat on the beat. So we're gonna be doing four blow, three draw half step bend, two draw, two blow. And then we go back up to the four blow, come back down, three draw half step bend. And this time we go to a three draw whole step bend and then to a two draw. And then we finish it off with a little three four warble. So we're gonna, just have a look at how you're going to hit those bends and, and hit the warble before we look before we play the lick together. So in the second half of the phrase where we're going four blow, three draw half step bend, three draw whole step bend, you want to make sure that you're not hitting that three draw half step bend too deep. 
Otherwise, you'll have nowhere to go for that three draw whole step end. So making make sure you're getting. rather than doing something like which doesn't sound very bluesy. So really make sure that it's, it's light. Okay, and then the warble. So if you're struggling with warbles, I do have a lesson on it that you can click uh, in the description to get to. But just, just the most important thing is that they're not as fast as they sound. You don't want to be completely crazy and out of control. You just want to keep it nice and solid and make sure that you're starting just from a very slow, clean side to side motion. So, and then just speed it up a tiny bit. Don't go from, don't go straight into and getting that kind of sound, otherwise it's going to sound awful. Just really slowly until you hear a nice clean three, four, three, four, three, four. Okay, so let's try that lick all the way through together. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we have a nice little sort of in-between phrase. It's not a lick, it's just a little bit of filler, and it sounds like this. One, two, three. So that's just two draw, three draw, three draw, two draw. So first three notes are eight note, eighth notes, so they last for half a beat, and they start just after beat three. So let's try that together. One, two, three. And then you hold that two draw for two and a half beats. And then we get into the five, four, one uh, area where it's, uh, it's nice and low and mellow, so it's gonna sound like this. So one, two, three. Okay, so we have a nice little lead up into the five chord, so we do one draw, and then we do a triplet. Two blow, one draw, two blow. And then land on the one draw, which is the root note of the five chord. And you might be thinking, hang on, I thought the four draw was the root note of the five chord. And it is, but the one draw is the same note an octave down. So that means you can go lower rather than automatically going higher as we do quite a lot. So you have that nice little triplet leading into the one draw. You hold it for three beats, and then you're gonna attack the one draw twice more. So you need to make sure that you're articulating it. So you're gonna hold the one draw, and you're gonna go Two, two. So that's that's the the mouth shape, the, the sound you're making to articulate that one draw. And then you're going to hold a one blow for three beats and do the same thing. One blow for three beats, and then articulate two, two on the one blow, coming into a two draw. Okay. So let's try that together, starting just after beat three. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, and then we have a super tasty turnaround. So this is one of my favorite turnarounds of all time. And it sounds like this. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so I added in the, the two draw from the previous lick because I think it makes sense. So we've got two draw, and then a quick move, three draw, half step bend, four draw, four blow. And then back down, three draw, two draw, two draw. And then we turn that two draw into a two draw whole step bend and then one draw, one draw, okay? So really listen to this a few times to get, get a feel for the rhythm. So let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's one of those turnarounds that you need to learn and you need to be able to play it in your sleep because it pops up a huge amount of the time uh, and it's really tasty. It's a little bit more interesting than just the classic, which we, we play way too much, myself inclu included. So play each of those licks individually, get really confident with them, then try playing them all together.
Uh, and what's going to help you do that is getting the tab sheet and getting the audio clips of each of those licks uh, as well as the backing track to practice with. And you can get all of that for free just by clicking on the link in the description below. But before you do that, just quickly before you go, you can do something for me and you can give me a thumbs up. Hit the like button below this video, that'd be amazing. And you can also subscribe to my channel because I put out a new lesson every single Wednesday and I wouldn't want you to miss out on that. Cool. Thank you very much and I will see you next week for more harmonica.